How's it going guys? Jack Shaxer here and today I'm going to be doing a video on MSI Afterburner. And one of the main reasons why I'm doing this video is as I was trying to overclock my new graphics card, I was having some issue with the core voltage. And I couldn't raise it, I tried everything, it just wasn't working. And so basically I just said, you know what, I'm just going to do a video on all the things that I learned from all the different avenues and hopefully making it easier and making a congruent video so that people can watch and say, okay, I tried all the steps, it worked, it didn't work, and you know that that's pretty much all the options out there. You don't got to search for an hour or two. So MSI Afterburner is basically the app that uh, many people use, even if you don't have an MSI card, to overclock your graphics card. I just got a GTX 1070. Um, it's the MSI Twin Frost Edition. It's a pretty decent overclocker and it's already stocked overclocked but I wanted to test my card see if I can hit the limits and to do that you really need the core voltage to go up I need to give my graphics card more power in order to get higher megahertz and higher core clocks and memory clocks um, there's a whole bunch of tutorials on actually how to use afterburner I'm just going to show you the ways to unlock this core voltage um, I'm not an expert by any means this is my first PC build and so I'm not going to even claim that I know fully 100% on how to get the best results. But I spent a couple of hours and, and got the results that I did. So basically what you want to do is have MSI Afterburner open. Yours may look a little bit different. If you go into the settings at the top there, if you go to user interface, okay, your may, your, yours may look something like that. It may look like that may look like any one of these. It's the same program. You don't have to worry about it. It's, this, it's the same thing. So go into settings. The first thing you want to check off to see if you can unlock the core voltage is to click unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring. It'll restart the program. No problem. It comes up and it should be unlocked. Say it's not unlocked and for many people it's not going to be. That's literally not going to do a thing. Okay. That's the first step. If this doesn't work, there's a second way you can do it. So, if you open up where you downloaded the app, this is my folder inside my hard drive. These are all the files, okay? You're going to have a bunch of different files, probably no application affiliated with one of these. So, you're going to find the CFG file. It's going to be MSI Afterburner. This isn't going to have an app affiliated to it. So, what you want to do is you want to right click it, you want to say open with, and you want to choose an app. I chose Notepad, it's the best way to do it. So once you choose Notepad, you're going to be able to right click and you're going to be able to say edit. So this is what you're going to see. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. It's pretty simple. You want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay, and once you're there, you're going to see this ATI ADL HAL. Okay, this is the area that you're going to be manipulating. And you can find this anywhere. Basically, if you go um, you know, on Google and type in um, MSI Afterburner Core Voltage. Is, this is going to be the major thing that comes up. So I'm just on LinusTechTips.com and it says make sure you're running Afterburner. Cool. Then it tells you this is what you want to change. You want to change the unofficial overclocking EULA and you want to say I confirm that I'm aware of unofficial overclocking limitations and fully understand that MSI will not provide me any support on it. You're basically saying okay I understand the liabilities with overclocking. I understand that MSI nor my graphics card are responsible. I'm responsible if I completely jack up my card, which is pretty hard to do. So what you want to do is you want to copy this. Okay, and you want to go into here. And you want to put a space. And you want to paste. Okay, then the second part is this unofficial overclocking mode. So if you go back here, unofficial overclocking mode and you want to put a one. You want to say file, save, and you want to restart the program. I don't need to do that. Okay. You restart it and you should have the slider here. Say you don't have the slider here and you're like, what the heck, Jax? Uh, it didn't work. Both didn't work. That's fine. There's two other ways to do it. Okay. Say it didn't work, and now you're frustrated. You're like, what the heck's going on? All right. The third way, I'll include these links, by the way, in uh, the description below. You want to find 
this page, okay? And this individual basically tells you the next way to do it. Now, I didn't have much success with this way, but other people have, and I'll kind of show you why. So, if I go into, back into the hard drive where the app is located, I want to go into profiles now. We're not going to be touching that app. Profiles, and you're going to find this document, VEN underscore 10, DE, whatever. You're going to do the same thing. If it's not Notepad, you're going to do it with Notepad. You're going to right-click it, and you're going to edit. Yours is going to look different from mine. You're not going to have this section here. You're not going to have that there. Just don't worry about that. Basically, what you want to do before you edit this at all, get Notepad here, get WordPad, whatever, and you want to just copy it and paste it just in case this doesn't work, okay? So copy this, paste it over here, paste it in Notepad, whatever. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to copy this. And you're just basically going to take away all of that and you're going to paste it just like that. File, save, quit. Okay. Now, why didn't this work for me? Basically, when I did that, it unlocked my voltage, but it gave me some random number here of like 5,827. And no matter what I did, whatever profile I set and saved, it just would not go down. Which is fine if you want to keep your device overclocked at all times. I mean, you could do that no problem. It's not going to go over 100. It's not oh, giving you a 5,000%. It's not going, to, not going to bust up your graphics card. But basically, it just wouldn't go down. And I just didn't want that. I, I wanted more control. So if this way works for you and you're happy with that, awesome. Keep it. Enjoy it. There you go. It's unlocked. You can slide everything else and increase it until you figure out what the parameters of your graphics card are. Say that doesn't work. All right. This is the easiest, in my opinion, one of the easiest options to do. I'm running the MSI Afterburner beta version. So if you go to msi.com afterburner, you go to downloads, you have the regular download here, and then you have the beta. Okay? I just downloaded the beta version. And basically, this is how the beta version came. But this was toned down, just like that. And I had this unlocked already. I didn't have to go into my settings. I didn't have to do anything like that. Um, I don't think there's any negative of having the beta. I haven't noticed any type of uh, glitches or negative tweaks or anything that's harmful. Um, it's just the last option is what uh, I ended up doing. So this is how I unlock the core voltage. Those are the four ways to do it. Um, it's, it's not too hard. It's not too hard. Now, if you're not having any luck with those four, I have no idea. I, I really, I don't know. Uh, I spent a lot of time looking, a lot of time looking it up, um, and I'm just not sure at that point. So basically, this is the way that I figured it out. And after some tweaking, and after spending time running benchmarks with your graphics card, so basically, this is what I ended up getting for my um, GTX 1070. Now, this isn't the highest I've seen people get. I don't have the silicon lottery version of cards, but I basically... These are the parameters that I got to be able to run any benchmark without artifacts, without freezes or crashes, running World of Warcraft on full, um, high VRAM game, uh, running Rainbow Six Siege, running Doom. This is the parameters that I got for my card, which is, which is pretty good. So this is pretty good for my card. I know that I can keep this going 24-7. It's not going to damage my card. It may reduce the life of my card uh, from what 10 years to seven years or you know only by a couple of years by the latter end of your card but it's not going to make an incredible difference so basically this is my short tutorial on how to use msi afterburner and how to unlock that core voltage and hopefully you get some success um, if you if it worked for you just give a like subscribe um, let me know if you want me to do other videos and other tutorials. I spent a lot of time looking things up. I want to get the max out of my system. I want to make sure I'm doing it safely. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. And so basically, that's it. So subscribe, like, comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to respond in the best time possible. All right, guys. Take care.